welcome back to my channel. My name is Sierra and I want to work on this little turtle here. I'm really looking forward to doing that. I have some resin mixed up right here. Um, I'm also going to be using some Pearlex Pearl White uh, Mica Powder. Um, this is going to be using some of these uh, shells. I have some eight millimeter cabochon glass eyes that I'm going to UV into the little eye socket there. So what I want to do is I want to take these little glass cabochon eyes. I'm going to UV them in here. I'm going to start off with my little UV flashlight torch. And then once I get these in, then I'm going to set it in my UV light lamp for five minutes and then work. I'm going to mix up the other part of the resin. But for now, I want to get this in here the best I can. Put another little glob in there and use my tweezers and my finger okay get it in there Sierra is that in there I don't know why I'm having such a hard time with this eyeball because I can't see it so I'm going to set it with the light Set it with this side. Just, just a quick one, and I'm going to put it in my... And I'm going to set it for five minutes. And as soon as it's cured, I will be back. Okay, while that, cu while that, that cures in, in there, I'm going to take some of this mica powder. So I'm going to mix in some mica powder, the pearl white. That should be enough. Good way to check is I'm going to get a little stick here because I got a white yeah that looks good so I have this I'm going to use this I'm going to prop the turtle up in there and this is what I'm going to use to fill up his little head this is cute it looks like the eyes are in the right place so I'm going to let's see if this holds it up there I'm going to pour the resin in the head I want to make sure those eyes get covered and then I'm going to I'm not even in frame I poured the resin in the head and I'm just going to I'm going to set it in like that, just like that, and I'm going to let it cure just like that. I'm going to have to babysit it, but anyway, I do have some left. I'll make a pendant or something out of that. So as soon as this cures, uh, we'll be back for the next step. The head uh, is cured. Um, so what I'm going to do is I want to just fill up the area that is just the shell, what appears to be just the shell, with these. So that's what I want to do. Um, I'm going to prep it up just a little bit because I don't want, I want this around the shell to be all uh, white, but I want to just fill the cavity 
that's the shell with these shells. So this is what these shells look like. Put them in there. They're very pretty. So I'm going, I have two ounces of resin here. I don't know if it's going to take that much. I'm going to pour some in a little cup. Pour half. Let's see what we got. I can always add more. So I just want to wet the shells. I mean, I do want to give them a nice coating. Drop that in there like so. See though, that's already going in there. I don't want it to. Let me prep it. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think I mixed up too much resin as usual. Yeah, I don't want it to go into the into the tail portion. I don't think I'm going to be able to prevent that. I think I have too much resin. Let's see. Right. Where is the tail at? It's all the tails up there. Okay. Come on. Get it up there. And scoop some of that resin out. Looks don't look very stable. There's something more stable than that to prop it up on. Let's see. There we go. I don't think that's going into the tail. No. That's exactly how I want it. I could add a couple more. Is that going into the tail? It might be. No. Nope. Okay, I think that's going to be good for right now. I think that's all I'm going to do. And we will go from there. Yep. That's it. And as soon as this is cured, I will be back. This is cured. Um, now I'm going to, I have, I don't know, just over four ounces of resin. I'm going to mix some of this pearl white in there. We'll see how much I need. We'll start off with that. Mm -hmm. 
I might need more. If I do, I will top it off. Hopefully I don't, but I might. My resin is really heating up. It's really warm in my craft room today. I don't have my air on or anything. All right, let's see what we got. Let's start filling it up. I'm going to go a little bit more and get in that tail. Let's see where's the tail at. i got to turn it so I can see the tail. Okay. We get a little dotting tool to get in there. I don't know if it's uh, deep enough for the tail. We shall see. No, I don't want it to see nothing. I want that tail in there. Fill it, but I don't want to underfill it either. Yeah, see, so this is That's like that, okay. This has to come up. That's as good as it's going to get. It looks like it's overflowed on this side. Yeah. We'll see. We will leave it alone. If I have to, I'll come back and take some out, but I'm going to leave it there. So we're going to leave this alone and let it cure. All right, my little turtle is cured. I did have a couple bubbles that popped up right there, but I'm not too stressed over it. Um, I had some extras, so I've got this ornament mold. Um, and I wanted to see how they would turn out. This is just extra resin. That turned out really, really cute. And you can also, you can put a, personalize it and put a name or whatever image. This one, I tried to do a bloom. Let's see how it turned out. Oh, that turned out beautiful. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh, that turned out gorgeous. I was not expecting that. I was not expecting that at all. I wasn't even trying. I was not even trying. I just used um, the regular J Diction resin, and it was it was setting up already. I knew that it was r really warm. I wasn't even trying. That is prettier than any real any attempt that I've actually. Oh wow! See, that goes to show you. Don't even try. <laughs> that turned out beautiful. Wow, wow! That is just wow. Beautiful. Look at that. I wasn't even trying. 
Anyway, let's go on to this. I hope this turned out. I have not used this mold yet, so I don't know what to expect. Um, okay, I did get his little tail. That's good. I was worried about that. So I'm going to pull it back this way. This head don't come off. It should be cured. Oh, he turned out cute. <laughs> A lot better than I expected. Wow. He turned out beautiful. There's his little eyes. His eyes stayed in place. <gasps> He's gorgeous. Oh, wow. He's beautiful. I could have took the shells a little bit further out, but I am not stressed over that. Oh, he's gorgeous. What do you think? Oh, wow. This, this turned out beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. I don't, the only bubbles I see are just right, right there. So I got his little tail. Oh, no, there's a bubble in the bottom of his tail, but shh, can't tell. I ain't worried about it. He's gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. And my bloom that I wasn't trying for. So, um, let me know what you think in the comments. So I want to thank you for hanging out with me today. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, please leave it in the comment section down below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing to my subscribers. I truly appreciate you and you have a great day and God bless. Bye.